My name is Corey Signorello, and I am the broker owner of New World Realty. Today, I have with me Chelsea and Dan from College Hunks, Hauling Junk and Moving. And today, I just wanted to sit down with you and talk to you a little bit about the company. Um, so first, to start off, um, what is the, I know that Hunks is actually an acronym. Mm -hmm. So what does that stand for? So Hunks really stands for Honest, Uniformed, Nice, Knowledgeable Service. Awesome. Awesome. And... It's what we train all our guys to. It's just a level of quality of service that we provide. Yeah, awesome, awesome. So you guys are both in the moving industry with helping people move and when like relocations and everything, and also hauling out junk at the same time yep. if somebody just needs a clean out or something like that. So where is your business located in this area? So in the area we're we're locally located in Boston uh, in Foxborough. We cover all the Boston area, mm -hmm. uh, but from pretty much from down to Attleboro all the way up to. I'd say Lexington area, right up and down 95, mm -hmm. as far um, as Quincy, but mainly Boston's our biggest territory in the area. Awesome, awesome. And so you guys are a franchise, so you're located nationally, correct? Yep. yep. Yeah, right. I think we have, what, closer to like 200 franchise locations? Yeah, just about, I think we hit 200 uh, this past July. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. So you're like located all the way over into the West Coast, so if somebody was like moving and actually wanted to sell their home over here on the East Coast, you would be able to help them out with, you know, making it easy to get their stuff all the way over to the West Coast as well, just using that same company, correct? Yeah, it's a pretty seamless transition. I mean, you know, we can help out the other location as well, kind of makes it easier with inventory lists and you have the same company packing, so it's the same standard across the board there. Um, and it, you just don't have to deal with, you know, other companies, it's just seamless transition from Boston to wherever you're moving. Yeah, awesome. That's great. So obviously with the moving, you also haul out junk and everything mm -hmm. too. So what does that consist of? Is there certain things that you guys don't move or is it just pretty much like give us a key to your place and we'll just haul it out and have it empty if like we need be. So how it works is we're the only company, at least in this area, that does both services. Mm -hmm. A lot of companies do either moving full service moving or full service junk removal. Mm -hmm. But when you have both where it's just like, when you're typically moving, you're getting rid of stuff. You don't wanna move everything that you have, you wanna get rid of stuff. So we donate, we're a national partner with Goodwill, Habitat for Humanity, a couple of local organizations, and we usually donate about 80% of everything that comes into our trucks. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Yep. That's awesome. It's good to know that it actually goes towards a good cause too. Yep. So is it pretty much everything like mattresses, TVs, like you can get rid of all of that stuff? There people? are some items like mattresses, TVs, like you just named that, you know, do have to be recycled properly. Um, it depends on the location for the donation facility. Mm -hmm. Some places don't necessarily take everything. Yeah. Um, so we do recycle, um, we do kind of everything like that with awesome. specific items. Awesome. So if I had like someone that was like, I don't want anything in this house whatsoever, can you guys just like go in and just clear it all out? You guys are 100% capable of doing oh, that? Oh, yeah. Yep. That's awesome. We have some fun with safes and baby grand pianos. It's a little bit more difficult. <laughs> but we like, our biggest thing is we're problem solvers. Yeah. If we have an issue, client has a need, we, we get in there and we figure out what we can do best to make it work. Yeah. So that's our biggest uh, key to success is we are able to figure out what we can do to get the job done right. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome, that's awesome. Any like funny stories of anything that's happened within the like, last couple of years or anything like that that you've come across? What do you got? I don't know, I mean, I've been in some crazy situations, I don't know, not really funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, interesting. I mean, the guys do social media posts all the time and they'll send them into like our channel there and some of the pictures are absolutely hilarious. The guys <laughs> love having fun with it. So as you guys were talking to me, like before we started filming and everything, um, you guys actually have a Hall of Fame, H-A-U-L, right? That's how you spell yeah. it, H-A-U-L. Yeah. <laughs> so what, what is that all about? So a couple of years ago, when we were like growing, I've been with the company about four years now, I'm like, we're getting some big celebrity clients, a lot of athletes. We're in Foxborough, uh, right on Route 1 across from Gillette. So we get a lot of Patriots players all the time. And I'm like, hey, guys, when we go out to these, these clients, bring a T-shirt, bring a hat, give it to them. And maybe they'll sign a yard sign for us. So we have a yard sign as you walk into the foyer of our office of uh, these celebrities or these uh, athletes uh, with their signatures on our yard signs. Uh, and if you haven't seen a yard sign yet, you probably will because we put <laughs> them everywhere. Right. Yeah. But that's it. We just try to make the make the client feel comfortable. And that's their biggest goal. And when they feel comfortable, they're like, yeah, I'll sign anything. We've gotten um, a couple clients where... Uh, Marcus Cannon, David Andrews, uh, a couple other Patriots players, some Red Sox players, Celtics players. We did Jared Leon. Stidham, even though he's no longer with yeah, us. Yeah, <laughs> Jared Stidham. We did Leon Poe uh, from the Celtics uh, a few years back now. But the, he gave all of our guys, when they're leaving, 
size 16 shoes. Oh my God. His, his <laughs> basketball shoes, size 16 shoes. And they're like, this is awesome, but what am I going to do? I was like, put it up on a shelf somewhere. Put right? it somewhere. But So it's just like cool little thing that the guys get and they really yeah. appreciate it. Well, that's awesome to yeah. see, like, they're, like, kind enough to actually, like, do stuff. and they Yeah, wanna, we've like, gotten jerseys that. from them, some sweatshirts people have gotten off jobs and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, that mm. is really cool. Mm. Another thing that you guys are telling me that, that was really cool is you guys were, um, or the company was right on the first season of Shark Tank, right? Yep. Yes. Can you tell me a little bit about that? You want to run with this one? Um, You might know more, but um, I'll start and you can yeah, absolutely. tag along there. Um, So they were on the first season of Shark Tank. And they weren't selling college hunks, hauling junk and moving. They were actually selling college foxes, packing boxes. So a packing service Mm -hmm. to kind of add on to the whole moving and junk removal service that they kind of already started. Um, I don't think the sharks liked that. Um, (laughs) They really wanted college hunks, hauling junk and moving. Um, And they were like, nope, that's not for sale. And did they walk off? It was Nick Nick and Omar, Mm -hmm. our two founders. uh, They're now down in Tampa. Um, and on when they were on the first episode of Shark Tank, they were like, "No, we don't want to. We we want that. This is our company right now. It was yeah. just starting. This, so they were on Shark Tank back in 2009, mm-hmm. um, and they really got their push between between 2006 and 2010. Yeah. So they're like, we don't want to give up something we just built. It was like their baby. Yeah. 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 So. The Sharks said uh, a big no to the Foxes packing boxes, so <laughs> they moved on. But since then, there's been success where I think then they had maybe 35 locations. Mm-hmm. So you can see. So you've grown a little bit. Yeah, up just, to a, 200. just a little. <laughs> yeah. But, but that's it. They keep pushing where we were just in this past fe- February, we were on uh, Undercover Boss mm-hmm. on MSNBC. So we're oh, growing so and cool. our marketing down in our brand is Absolutely, 10 out of 10. They yeah. really was it one of them that was on the Undercover Boss? It was both, both of them, them yeah. Oh, both of them? Yeah. yeah. What location were they in? Do you know? Uh, they went, I believe, to Detroit. They went to three different locations. Uh, oh, okay. There were a couple of locations there. Uh, they didn't come visit us, so yeah. I say that's a blessing and a curse. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I thankfully, they didn't have to come visit us, but I think it was a, uh, a good experience and got us a little lot of exposure as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And like you said, when on Shark Tank, like even though they didn't get a deal, I'm sure like that exposure just in general. I is feel like huge. anybody that goes on Shark Tank yeah. ends up like blowing up, whether they get a deal or they don't. Seriously, it's crazy. Mm-hmm. It, it really <laughs> is true, and it's it's clear that they obviously had a vision for their company of what they were going for. I mean, even the previous name that it was going to be named before. Both of these names are like very clever. They stand out. Yep. And I know whenever I was like telling people, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna like do an uh, interview and it's gonna be with like college hunks. And they're like, with what? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people have a lot like, of it's questions. It's an acronym. Yeah. It's an acronym. Yeah. yeah, people always have questions like, are you guys really in college? Like, yeah. uh, are they really hunks? And when I go out on estimates, they're like, oh, are you in college? And I'm like, no, I'm a little too old. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, I wish say I was we're in not in college. college now. We still have college debt. We're paying off. That's why we're working. <laughs> exactly. So that's how it works. But no, that's that, why we're working. Yeah, that's why we're literally here. But no, we make it fun. That's why we make it like a stress free process. Like our the, our uh, quote is like university is stress free service. Yeah. Where you don't want to be like dealing with moving and junk removal because it's actually the number th- uh, the third most stressful situation you have behind uh, a divorce and loss of a loved one is moving. Yep. So that's where we try to make it easy. Yeah, and it's so true because I I mean I see it every day when I'm like working with one of my customers and. They have to pack up all their things, whether they're buying a place or selling a place. Sometimes they're even doing both yep. at the same exact time. Mm-hmm. So it is just an overwhelming feeling, even if they're just doing it in the same town. Never mind if they have to relocate from state oh, to yeah. state. Yep. So I think the fact that you guys seriously have so many locations throughout the country is such a huge benefit to anybody that wants to move or have ha- like any junk hauled out or anything like that. I think it's just such a great concept, and I love the name too. I think it's just <laughs> seriously so clever. Yeah. Um, so I guess to wrap everything all up, do you guys have any goals of what you're trying to achieve within the next five years or so? Or what is like the game plan you see for like in the, in the future? He already knows I'm trying to take his job. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and th- and his position, I should say. That's what I want. Uh, we want, like, I'm going to take my owner's job. Uh, we want to build our guys up yeah. from when you start on a truck uh, to work up to operations, to work into sales. There's many different avenues you can go, but like our goal Right now, we're just trying to be successful, but being professional about it the whole time, uh, making sure the guys we bring in from the guy to the very top as the owner to the guy to the very bottom as a wingman on our trucks, they're successful. They're happy. They like to come to work, and they try to make the best out of it because yeah. you never know. One thing about our office is our office changes every single day. We don't go to one location every day. We go everywhere. Mm-hmm. So that's what uh, 
I would just, in five years, I would just love to see how we can grow the business, uh, divided more as two hybrid locations throughout the Boston area. Uh, we just have another uh, location up in Chelmsford that opened about a year and a half ago now. Uh, so, like, they're, they're coming in, they're building up, and just trying to uh, grow that way. But I see our success is the next franchisee's success as well because people who know our brand and know us, if they move to – hang on where territory we don't really cover as much yeah they'll have a new experience of a new uh, franchise owner that's growing the brand out that way as well yeah it's everyone has it's all on reputation so mm-hmm. it's, all the franchisees have to have like you know the same good reputation that goes on and i think it's great that you try to promote growth within the company rather than trying to bring outsource it from otherwise too because obviously yeah. those are the people who know the most about your company the people who have already dedicated time into it and really already care about it. You know what I mean? Right. One of our core values is building leaders. So, you know, we really do want the best for our teammates. We want to see everyone succeed in their own way and everything like that. So that's awesome. So if somebody wants to reach out to you to use one of your services, what is the best way for them to get in touch with you? We can call. You can call. We both have local numbers. Uh, We'll probably pop them up on the screen in a second. But we also have like an email, Boston Booking. Uh, at chhj.com. If they want to uh, call our local office, that's the best way to reach us. Um, if you want more information, uh, collegehunks.com. That's a website, mm-hmm. and it's our professional moving and junk removal services. Awesome. Well, thank you guys both so much for thank being here for with me today. Us. Yeah, I really appreciate it. And if anybody needs anything for moving or getting junk hauled out of their property, reach out to them at any time.